we're going to do we're going to do a mock job interview. Okay, this is a study that somebody did. And we're going to walk through this mock job interview. Okay, you're coming in to work for, at Social 119, World in Conversation. I don't know. You're the job, right, with me, mm-hmm. and I'm doing the interview with you. So, Paula. No, you call me P. P. There you go. Yeah, P. Okay. So, um, so what's your what's your what's your major? Nursing. Nursing. I mean, why nursing? What what got you into nursing? Um, I like helping people, Hold making the them mic feel better. Close. I like helping people and making them feel better. Uh huh. Yeah. And where are you from? Where's your family from? Uh, originally Puerto Rico, but we live in Philly now. Uh huh. And where, so where are you from in the U.S.? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Um, and you, do you have siblings? Yes. So how long, what makes you be really interested in this job working as a clinic, clinician at World in Conversation? Well, I feel like I have a lot of experience with helping people and having people look at different uh, scenarios. Hmm, okay. Do you have a boyfriend? No. Hmm. <laughs> so, uh... So what? Give me some. Give me some something else. Have you ever like? So you're in nursing. Did you? Have you ever worked in a hospital? No. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, do you think, P? Do you think uh, men find you attractive, physically desirable? Um, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well. And how about um? So those are interesting boots that you have on. Are they boots? What is that? Yeah, they're boots. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, um, another question is kind of interesting. Do you think women should wear bras in the workplace? Um, that's up to them. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So here, are you ready? Mm-hmm. So now, if, you were in a, if this were a real interview and you didn't know me mm-hmm. and I was a strange man who mm-hmm. just came in for a job and we start talking and I ask you, do you have a boyfriend? Do men find you desirable, sexually desirable? And do you think women should wear bras in the workplace? And I just put those into the conversation right in the middle of it. Feel You'd feel uncomfortable? Mm-hmm. Talking to the mic. Would you? I'd feel uncomfortable. Why would you, are you asking me these questions? That it has nothing to do with what I'm applying for. Would you refuse to answer? Um, I would like to think so. Would you maybe get I up probably, and... I probably wouldn't see it at first. Like, do you have a boyfriend? But as soon as you get to, like, the sexuality stuff, I'll be like, why are you asking me this? Do you think you might get up and leave or something like that? Um, probably, depending on how, how awkward it is for me. Okay, so, yeah? Okay, yeah. so let me show you something. So this person had the same idea and was really kind of interested in um, how it is that, that people, put, to, people accept certain things, Okay. And in, in particular, how it is that women accept certain things that happen to them, right? These like kind of little sexual slights that didn't really make sense. So he sent, so he gave an interview and in a questionnaire out to 197 women. Two thirds of the women who responded in the, to the interview to the question said like, yeah, they would feel uncomfortable enough that they would not answer the, all those questions. Maybe the first one, but then they'd stop answering. And then 16 of 197 said they would get up and walk out. Okay? Got that? Which makes how, women in here. How many of you were feeling it for her in the moment? Could you imagine yourself being in that situation? That it's a role play and you're in this and this creepy guy starts asking these questions about wearing bras in the workplace and, you know, this kind of stuff. And how many women in here you don't have to raise your hands, but how many of you would feel exactly like her? Yeah, I'd probably stop answering at some point. And maybe I'd even walk out. Right? Got it? How many of you are going to say, yeah, definitely? Okay? So then he said, well, let me actually try this. Because I don't know. So he actually did mock interviews with only 25 women. And all 25 of them stayed right in the interview, right to the bitter end. Said nothing and didn't walk out did nothing. So here you are, right? You're imagining here, right? P's down here imagining, yeah, if I'm in that creepy situation with some creepy guy, I'm going to be over here. I'm going to use my volition. I'm going to use my choice and I'm going to walk up these stairs and make a decision. Like, Yeah, I'm not answering that question. Yeah, I'm going to walk out. 
yeah, I'm not doing that. So I'm going to do that because, right? Because you're, you have power. You have power, right? You have power, right? You have power, right? You, you know, like, you're not, you know, nobody, there's no, there's no, you're not like a puppet down here. No one's just telling you what to do. There aren't men all around you saying like, no, you got to stick it out. You got to know. So naturally you think like, yeah, I'm going to do that. But what he finds is what we find all the time. It doesn't matter. Crank up the level of creepiness. Go as far as you want to go. But there's something happens that leads you down here. It's almost like there are these like invisible strings on women here. That is just like, like you, you're just like this kind of not, you're not, not a puppet in a, don't think, like think of this in the coolest sociological way, but there are ways in which our behavior, your behavior is not shaped by your choices, but your behavior, just like what I'm saying about who we'd be attracted to is shaped by things outside of your control. But so there's something in the system, like I talked about a racialized system, but there's a sexualized and gendered system as well. It's like leads P and all these other women to something. It's like these invisible strings. And we're up here and I'm like, there's somehow someone's like this big here. Hang on. I'll do it just like this. I'm going to be right behind you, right? Like this big puppet master. And like she's sitting here oper- talking like she's in control, like she's down there. But something's going on up here and pulling strings and moving along and this and that and all sorts of things are happening. And like, oh, my God. And you think you're making a decision, right? But just like all the women think they're making a decision, and not one said, I'm going to refuse to answer that or get up and leave. And so why is that? And how is that? And we all want to think we're there, and here we are. Yes. So what was the interview staged as? Because I feel like that has an influence on what or how like, a woman may answer The interview questions. was staged as an actual real interview. It came like in. what kind of job? Just a, just a random job. A random job working in different places. I feel like that's not specific. I don't know. I'm just, I feel like that Wait, oh, so you're thinking as a woman, you're thinking, no, women are really going to do this? Um, doesn't matter. We do this. So you're thinking that, no, women actually pro- would feel uncomfortable and I they think wouldn't just talk? A, there's, I don't know, there's... I don't know. I like. I'm just trying to think of like there may be other reasons that may not just be. This like, we, this 25 what... random women that are all equally as influenced to not get up and leave. I don't know. Dude, this is what we all do, my friend. This is what we all do, right? We all are gonna be like, yes, but yes, but what about maybe the job was for I don't know, like clothing design. No, 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 I got you. Just follow me. And then maybe it's clothing design. It's like, well, but maybe it could like be about a bra or something. Or maybe it's this or maybe it's that. Like, I don't know, right? It's like, this, we, do, we do, this is one tiny study. There's so many studies. Like, they're, they're all over the place. It's like, we all want to be over here. And yet what we find is like, we don't act in the way that we think we might act. Just like, dudes, look, look. It's really really powerful. You know why, what motivated this person to do this study was by the number of people who he learned had been somehow sexually assaulted and never spoke up. Because of course, me as a man, if I'm sexually assaulted in any way, shape or form, I'm going to speak up. Of course I am. And so therefore, Women, you might, obviously you weren't. You talk about it four years later. Why didn't you talk about it at the time? Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you do something? It's like I would have done something, or other women would be like, "Yeah, well, I would have done something too." It's like really, everybody would do something until the moment it comes to do something, and then somehow these strings enter in. So you can say like, "Yeah, it would depend on the job." It would, maybe it wouldn't. Maybe it really doesn't matter because we do this stuff all the time and we see that, no, people don't act. We all think we're going to speak up. We all think we're going to do something and we don't. It's like, shit, we are not as powerful and strong-willed and so on as we think we are. You know what I mean? So no, you, you almost certainly, as I was just getting creepier and creepier in the interview, maybe alone in my office somewhere for a job that maybe involves running a camera. Maybe, no, don't think me, but just running a camera. Just a random job like that. That has nothing to do with boyfriends, how you dress, 
sex, anything like that. And you think, oh yeah, no man, I would speak up. And I just keep getting creepier. And cre- oh, hey, I like those earrings. Yeah. Hey, you have nice lips. And it just keeps going and going and going. And everybody's going to think the same thing. You're going to think, oh, but he's going to get a little closer to me. And, it's, and you're going to back up, but you're fucking not. <laughs> you're not. You're going to stay right there and you're going to be frozen in place and you're going to be like, and I'm going to get creepier and I'm going to be like, oh yeah. And then it's, it's just, you got it? Yo, can and, I give another example? It's almost like in the movie Legally Blonde, if anybody's seen it. Recently saw it, so you know, whatever. Um, but in the movie, at one point, the main actress is being hit on by her boss and the woman gets up and leaves. And we all assume we would all do that. Every woman in this room, you would be like, what the hell are you doing? And get up and leave. But in reality, we don't. And why is that? What is the social constructs or the strings that are holding us in place that don't allow us to move? The question is, what is happening?